Okay, so I actually forgot two things, but uh, Heavenly Father, we also ask that uh, if you could please uh, keep our our homes, our streets, neighborhoods, communities, cities, towns, uh, the whole country, you know, clean and safe. In Jesus' name, we also pray uh, if you could. Please uh, bind and rebuke all enchantments, spells, hypnotism, jinxes, hexes, vexes, curses, viruses, and anything that might threaten and come, you know, at us and come get us, you know, and, and hurt us in Jesus' name. All right, so going on the attack, let's see here. Lord, we also ask if you could help us to subdue the demonic territories. Please loose the loins of kings. The rulers, the demonic rulers, loose their loins. And open before us the two leaved gates. And the gates, and have the gates not be shut. Isaiah 45. And one in Jesus' name. Let their countenance be changed and let their thoughts trouble them so that the joints of their loins be loosed and their knees, their knees smoting one against the other. Daniel chapter 5, verse 6 in Jesus' name. And Lord, we ask uh, if you go before us and make the crooked places straight. Please break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. In Jesus' name. I loose holy warrior angels with flaming swords and flaming bows and arrows. And to go up against the demonic forces which we bind in Holy Ghost fire chains and fetters in Jesus' name. Um, Lord, we just also want to ask if. We go from here like that, kind of getting stuck a little bit, but uh, we'll think of something here, All right? Lord, have your angels spin the minds of the demons around and make them dizzy in Jesus' name, make them unable to think or focus or look straight whatsoever. And uh, and they'd have a hard time like defending themselves. Um, we also ask um, like for the territories that were actually won. I mean, not actually won. The territories that were won, that have been won. We also ask if you could. Um, You bind Psalm 80 and 18. So we will not go back from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. So just before we engage the enemy, Lord, we ask if you could please bind this scripture to us so that we don't forget that it is you that we call upon for our help. To deliver the enemies into our hands. And to utterly destroy them. In Jesus name. Um, let's see.
Please rain down fire upon their their palaces, their towers, um, their garrisons. In Jesus' name. And uh, we take authority over their more lower-ranked demons and command them to attack the strongman demons. In Jesus' name. Let confusion, chaos, and disorder be sown amongst their ranks. In Jesus' name. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I wrote here. Half the time, I don't even know. Anyway, Lord, please... Uh, if you could please lose special hedge snipers with Job 1 and 10 and Hosea 2 and 6 and have them pick the demons off one at a time while they don't know, you know, while they can't see where they're going. And their, you know, their paths are pretty much enclosed. I also ask if you could also bind to them. I believe it was a heavy chain. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 7, in Jesus' name. So they won't be able to get out. For the, you know, the, the, uh, the duration. Um, in Jesus' name. Ah, uh, let me see here. Let me see, how advanced can we get exactly here? I had this idea. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I forgot. And also, yeah, not just uh, Job 1 and 10 and Hosea 2 and 6, but also Ecclesiastes 10 and 8. That, yeah, they go together with the, especially with Lamentations. Um, let me see here. I was also wondering, like, Let's see here, send a warrior after them. It's got like and it's got muscle it's got muscly muscle like fists, that's for sure. Muscly fists? Muscle fists? Yeah, something like that. And they got a shield, but also let it be a, a holy ghost warrior. And it's got lasers that it can fire, but also torpedoes. Cause I, you know, like why not? Anyway, uh, yeah, and let you know, and let them, let the attacks come upon them from underneath, unsuspectingly. Let them also be shot and burned. And also, you know, knock the plum out, and have the daylights kicked out of them. Um, yeah, in Jesus' name. trying to like li literally figure out how exactly that was going to work but I mean it's not really all that far-fetched you know when you think about it like this one I lose a an angel not just any kind of angel a water mace wielding and hammer wielding Night Angel with power over water and wind. Let the enemy's nights be stormy. In Jesus' name. Yeah, there'd be more. Oh, man, I had 
just like more like elaborate and thought out. Okay, so Lord, if it be possible, if you could have your angels grab hold of the enemy's power, their effects, effects, effects. Um, over wind, like the angels from Revelation chapter seven, like you know the way they can hold, like the way they held the uh, the wind in you know in their hands, the four corners of the wind, like uh, they can use like wind magic or whatever, you know. Can you have you know? Please have them. I mean, please have them restrain. That magic, even if it's just symbol, symbology, sim, symbolism, or whatever, not like literal. Or, but in any case, like you know, we ask that, yeah, definitely it be restrained and held back in Jesus' name. So the enemy has like fewer options in Jesus' name. Uh, let's see. Let them be troubled by a Holy Ghost flame beetle. Or Holy Ghost flame beetles. Yeah. In Jesus' name. That block their their every way. Man, this is this is like this is like not a good day for them. But um He also asked that a Holy Ghost trap like a grip claw box device setup. It's got like a like a Roomba like movement. Let's see, and there's like one big there's a big one and there's like two smaller ones. And we and we ask that it you know it hold them and bind them so they can't get away and loose a and loose angels of of stripes to beat them. And uh, see if you can, no, and I see, well, yeah, and please get them to divulge, you know, any valuable information. Get them to, to confess names. And we do pray, one, you know, once again, you know, that the names of those demons may be made known to us in Jesus' name. Um... Had a lot of okay, so basically, and while the while they're t you know while their domains or kingdoms are being sieged, we uh, lose heavy engines that go every which way and shoot rocks at them, and we ask that it also be included in the siege and lay waste to their walls and you know and their cities and all that stuff. I guess Babylon got cities, right? That spirit, yeah, let the heavy engines hit those places, but also the demons too, you know, let them be crushed by rocks, blasted by rocks, and hit by them, in Jesus' name, and let, the, you know, the power of those engines um, never deplete, so, you know, it never runs out of gas, never runs out of fuel, <laughs> oh man. I almost feel I I almost feel sorry for them, but yeah, and I kind of also feel like I might be bullying them. But to be honest, though, I mean, th they do a lot worse than what I what I even I could possibly say or imagine. So, you know, don't don't proceed, don't take it the wrong way, and don't don't uh, listen to what other people say when they tell you that you know when you're dealing with these things. These monsters, these you know, evil spirit, these wick, evil and wicked spirits, you know, they don't hold back, and, and you know, neither should you. So, um, with that said, I wonder what else we can do here. If you want to throw in anything else, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to touch and agree with you, you know, and attack, you know, on them. You know, in Jesus' name. And, uh, yeah, we also plead the blood over the prayers, making sure they're clean, 
you know, over our minds. Uh, you know, we plead the blood over over your prayers, making sure everything's all right. In Jesus' name, um, just to be on the safe side, because you know, sometimes we don't know what it, what we, uh, we don't know exactly what we might bring in when we start praying. So, I'm better safe than sorry. So it'll wash everything away. Um, hmm. I wonder, okay, uh, Lord, I was wondering if you could send, like, swarms of, of supernatural lightning, lightning bees at the demons, you know, and, like, uh, you know, bother them, but, yeah, like, you know, using special angels to to turn into these things, into these creatures. Um, to distress the enemy and uh, all of that in Jesus' name. Um, let's see. Or we also want to ask if you can send also engine armored like seraphim ready for battle in Jesus name. Um, I got a couple of stuff here and there. Mm. I guess, I guess if the enemy had like ships, you can like target target those. I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, the Lord has you know ships and chariots, and not just uh, not just uh, soldiers. So the, you know, it's likely the devil also has the same i mean he, he copies everything so it's like whatever we have he probably has like some kind of equivalent or something like that um so against that i'd like to loose anti-ship and chariots with like five mounted upper cannons Five mountain. That's a man. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty wide chariot, but yeah, but it's got enough power to sink their ships. Actually, Lord, even one's enough. You know, let your might be displayed with just one alone. You can take down the entire team, the entire fleet, in Jesus' name. But yeah, this was like something I, I can't help it. I got that, I got that cunning, that cunningness in at Jerusalem. Was it Judah? They got cunning men. And now, and I, yeah, I mean, and ever since I was like in high school, I've always had this, this, uh, this interest and liking, you know, to like build stuff. You know, make things, construct things, use my head. So, I mean, it's only natural that, you know, it gets brought in, you know, it gets, it, you know, it pretty much uh, overlaps with my prayer. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know, sticking to the word is important, but it's also important, you know, to think. Think about what your what your actions are gonna be. Think about what you're gonna do. You don't wanna be a mindless drone either. So yeah. I don't know. Huh. It said an it's it, when I was reading that book it said the anointing of Issachar, but I wonder now, I wonder actually I always wondered myself, like if I was in a tribe, if I was one a part of the tribe, and which one would I be? And it seems like 
I would probably be Judah, be a part of Judah. And I thought it was like maybe, okay. I, actually, I wasn't even entirely sure what this anointing of Issachar was. I figured I was like, okay, maybe. So like what? Um, so we're a part of, we're a part of the tribe of Issachar, but it's like, but when I look at my own interests, it's like, I seem to lean more towards Judah. I mean, granted, I, you know, I, I'm pretty good with singing. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm a little, I feel a little bit confident in that. And that's more like leaning towards uh, Levi, but, um, yeah, no, I feel like I lean more towards Judah, so, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's like an interesting thing. It's like, it's the same thing, like, with believers. Like, when you, I mean, yeah, the, was it the order of Melchizedek, after the order of Melchizedek, but you also become a part of God's people, so you're also, you also become an Israelite. As a believer, too, so I don't know. I just found it interesting, but yeah, I can't help it. I like mach I like machines, and the Bible does a pretty good job of piquing my interest in that. So you know, don't be surprised when I pray. You see.